In this presentation, we will discuss fiduciary funds. As we do so, we want to keep in mind the different types of fund categories, including the governmental type funds, the proprietary type funds, and now here we are with the fiduciary funds. The governmental type funds, largest groups of funds, the ones we want to keep most familiar with, those using the modified accrual basis, proprietary funds, those acting in a similar fashion to for-profit types of organizations. We have the internal service funds and the enterprise type funds. Now the fiduciary funds, which act in such a way that there's some type of fiduciary type of responsibility. These are the funds which we will expand on here. Fiduciary activities are those where assets are held that benefit individuals, organizations, or governments other than the reporting government. That's going to be the key piece here. When we think about the fiduciary type of activity, oftentimes you might be, first thing that might come to mind is something like a trust. If we were to put money into a trust, it's going to be held, the assets are going to be held, but they're not going to be owned possibly by the person that is handling or managing the trust. They're going to be the benefits of some other person. Well, here we're talking about fiduciary funds. We're talking about funds, assets, the managing of some kind of assets or handling in some way of assets or tracking the assets within the governmental unit. But those assets are not the governmental unit's uh, assets. They're for the benefit of someone outside the governmental unit, some other individual organization or government outside the reporting entity. The GASB standards exclude the reporting of fiduciary activities in the government-wide financial statements. Therefore, the government-wide financial statements, when we're going to report the activity as a whole, these fiduciary funds won't be there. Why? Because the fiduciary funds, the assets within them, are not the government's assets, and therefore they're not going to be included in the financial statements at the government-wide level. Uh, they are reported in the fiduciary fund financial statements, however. So we are going to have fiduciary fund financial statements, which are going to report the accounting related to the fiduciary funds, however, not included in the government-wide level at the government-wide level because the assets within the fiduciary, like a trust, aren't assets that are going to be the assets belonging to the, the government. They're somehow managing the assets in some way, in some kind of way that would be similar to a trust form acting in, in an agency format in some way rather than as the owner managing their own assets. Fiduciary fund types commonly include custodial funds, private purpose trust funds, investment trust funds, and pension trust funds. So we'll get into more detail about each of these types of fiduciary funds in future presentations.